every time on. Right, mix and lime mortar by hand. First things first, you want to get yourself some sort of receptacle, like I'm using a tub for nails here. It's not too big, it's not too small. You're not going to end up with a massive mix, you're not going to end up with too, uh, with too little either. These tubs need to be filled to the top. This will be a 5 to 2 ratio. You'll hear me talking about 3 building, 2 sharp and 2 lime. So that is 3 sharp, 2 building and 2 lime. I'll say it again, these need to be level tub fills. Now, the gauging of the mix is imperative here because if you end up uh, not using the same mix every time, you look at your wall and it's all going to be different colours uh, and it'll just, it'll just not look very good. So this, if you were mixing in a mixer, this would uh, be pale fills rather than just small tub fills because you want a bigger mix. But the ratio will still be the same. And if the ratio is the same, your pointing will all be the same colour. If it's the same lime and the same type of sand from the same merchants, it'll be the same. Right, we're using autobine. Natural hydraulic lime. Hydraulic climb, not hydrated. Hydraulic NHL 5. So, this is by far my favourite type of lime. This is Otterbein. So, you get you get the three strengths of lime you get NHL 2, NHL 3.5, and NHL 5. It's a fantastic product. It, it, it sets properly, uh, it dries the same colour if you mix it properly. It goes a nice colour, it almost goes buff. If you use other types of lime, like St. Aster, etc. It'll end up sort of whitish, sort of chalky grey looking. But this, this dries a bit better, it almost dries like a buff stone colour. And when you brush it back and get the sharp sand coming out in the, in the point in, um, it, just, it just looks better. Also, you want the sharp sand in there, in beside the building sand, just to just to bind the whole thing together, the lime will, will do a job of binding it together. But but the sharp sand just blocks it out a bit because you we're we're pointing against big thick, uh, deep beds and joints here. Right back to mixing. So you just want to get uh, all, all your sort of lime, your binder and your sand. You just want to get it sort of mixed in a wee bit. And I'm going to show you a wee trick in a second. But just first, before I forget, you should use a plasticizer. Just get any mortar plasticizer. You can get stuff called USD from like your sort of local lime suppliers. But I would just go for your normal Everbuild sort of Feb uh, plasticizer for the brickies. For all the renovators that have a stone building, don't fucking cover it to them. It's amazing! Why would you cover that up? Now a steeplejack taught me this a long, long time ago. When your mix is uh, dry, just grab the handle and just shake as hard as you can. Perfectly mixed. Now last of all, just grab the blade of your treble and just mix through the water until you've sort of got your desired consistency. I do your uh, and just <laughs> keep mixing and mixing and mixing. You can use a shovel, you can use a treble. Um, but here you go. Here's your best bet. Oh, look at and that! It works perfectly every single What's time. What the fucking that? I'll be enough water, I think. Bang on that! I'll be needing another few scoops of the. As much as possible, so that it stays wet and you can it doesn't crack and it dries too quickly. Of course, a hundred years that'll turn back into limestone. 
So if you look at the sharp sand there, this is your sort of desired effect. You brush it to get these sharp sand. These need to be pretty deep, at least 25 mil. And also, when you point, we'll be making sure. Right, if you've got to the end here, just please, just give me a wee like and subscribe to me, please, if that's all right. But to be honest, I enjoy making the videos, so if you decide to watch this and not actually like it, then that's on your conscience. Bye-bye.